Yeah. Uh, speaking of standalones, Black Widow movie. Hey. It is now... They found a director, right? About they time. found a director, and... Um, yeah. Well, I mean, it's been it's, in talks it, for so long. No, but, like, seriously, everybody else has had a movie except for her. I thought you were going to get mad at me for same, cutting him off. Same Sorry. with no. Jeremy Renner. No. Hawkeye. Yeah. Hawkeye. yeah. Well, exactly, um, right? Like, I mean, like, we've gone through the whole, like... You know, everybody's had a movie, the, the Avengers, da, da, da. Oh, now we'll do a movie with her. Um, I think the issue with Black Widow is she could potentially just be boring, like a James Bond character. Um, and they're doing it pre-Avengers, where she okay. is the Russian spy that oh, turns. Yeah. Like, they're doing Budapest. it more of a prequel. Yeah. Um, and, and maybe they'll bring up Budapest. And maybe Jamie, Jeremy Renner would be in there where they kind of meet. Because I'm assuming there's a... Jeremy Renner has already been working. Like, Hawkeye is already working for S.H.I.E.L.D. And he's the one that recruits Widow. We've already gotten shades of that. The only... And they're... I don't know when they're starting to shoot. But Kate Shortland is the director. Uh, female director. She is noted as an Australian film writer. And best known for her film Somersault Lore and Berlin Syndrome. None of which I've seen. But she's Seen got a, she's got a ton of awards. She's got an awards AACT award for best direction, uh, best original screenplay, best adapted nominations, best short fiction film nominations. So I'm not gonna rule her out, and I think this is gonna be really interesting. All I'll say real quick is for everybody who says that DCU sucks, if Wonder Woman was not made, this movie would not be happening. Just so you know, just so you're aware. I agree. I agree. I mean, I, I assume if at one point they're going to have to do it, but I totally agree. And it's a female-led movie, yeah. female director. I think it's going to be really good. And if they make Hawkeye kind of very similar to how um, Steve was in Wonder Woman, forget his last name, I think it'd be good. Boys, what do we think? I think, like, honestly, if it was more of like a Winter Soldier deal where it was like Captain America and like Falcon kind of like sidekicking it. Okay. Like yeah. kind of like a buddy cop movie yeah. with both of them. Yeah. Well, like, I don't want to be like kind of serious because they are in like spies and doing i don't know whatever happens on budapest but it sounded like pretty serious i think everybody wants to know about budapest i think if they did it like like i was kind of like a buddy cop like both of them were kind of like you know at man and the wasp kind of yeah, deal yeah. whereas like you know black widow and hawkeye i think that'd be interesting to see nick yeah no i think uh, along the same lines of what anthony said too um i see similar to black panther i see a lot of supporting characters taking like you know a little bit more of a mm. You know, like you said, like with Hawkeye and like, we don't know what the exact origin will be, but I, I, I'd like to see, you know, yeah, Black Widow, that's great. But like some of the supporting characters, the story behind it and how that develops, that's where I think there might be some interesting, like little turns and stuff. Little stuff. stuff. Somebody's already asking about that. Next Someone is, eh? Yeah, we will. Yeah. We'll get to that in a bit. Um, much. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I think it's going to be really good. They don't have any no. They, so right now in this report that I got, I think it was from comicbook.com. Um, Not paid. The report also says the solo film is looking to follow Captain Marvel and act as a prequel of sorts. Uh, reportedly set before the events of the first Avengers movie and sees the actress surprise Russian spy turned superhero. We know that. Um, yeah, so not... Be like Captain America, the first one. Like, she'll probably be weak in the beginning. Oh, and here's how she became. Well, we, we, the good thing is is that they've kind of laid a lot of good groundwork in Age of Ultron where they had her backstory where she was a ballerina. Yeah. So I think what would be good is if they, like, literally go from there. Kind of like if they would have started the Wolverine Origins movie where, like, him out of getting his adamantium and stuff. So it might be that. It could be a mix. They could harken back to the, the that. Um, I think either way they go... It, I think it's. I like the fact that they're taking a risk with a director that not everybody knows. If it's a ballerina movie, do you think they'll bring back Mila Kunis and Natalie Portman and reenact that scene? <laughs> or is that is that just me? No. Okay. That would be that would be amazing. <laughs> that would be great. That would be it? great. Right. Oh man, yeah. that would be so good. You're welcome. And I don't know what they're talking and about. We're all probably You've never oh, seen Black, Black Swan. Swan. Oh no. Oh man, okay. take a look at it. Yeah. It's one of Aronofsky's really good ones. It's a great movie. Yeah. yeah. Um, but. I feel like I'm I've pretty seen sure more movies that in this episode <laughs> than Anthony has. <laughs> well, I'm pretty sure the thing we can all agree on, no matter what, is that there's going to be no uh, solo Hawkeye movie. Yeah, <laughs> I think I think he'll always be the <laughs> wah, side wah. character. But same with Falcon. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't mind like a TV show, honestly, though, like a Netflix show. Mm. Mm. I don't know. You'd be the only one.